Hello, this is Prateek from TechWiser.com and since you guys gave a great response to our Windows Essential app video, how about some more Windows apps? But this time, let's bridge the gap between this PC and this Android phone. Like, you could use this phone as a Wi-Fi repeater, motion controller, fingerprint unlocker and much more. So let's just jump into this. Let's start with unlocking your PC. So how many of the laptops have a fingerprint sensor? Like ThinkPads do, but for most laptops, it's still rare. In comparison, almost every smartphone houses the fingerprint sensor. You have to download an app called Windows Credential Module. I'll leave a link to all the apps in the description below. Next, download Remote Fingerprint Unlock on your phone. And after the setup, you can unlock your laptop with the fingerprint sensor of your phone. How cool is that? The only caveat is that both the devices need to be on the same Wi-Fi network, which most of the time they are. And talking about Wi-Fi, Android lets you share hotspot only on mobile data, not when you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. So when I travel, most of the hotel Wi-Fi's provide access to only one device. But here's an Android app called NetShare No Root Tethering, which lets you share your Wi-Fi network to multiple devices. The configuration is kind of tricky and it depends on the device. So check out the video we did on how to use your phone as a repeater. You'll see a card popping up now. One of the main reasons why I love working on my PC is because I can simply use a mouse and a keyboard. Well, desktop lets you extend these two peripherals to your Android phone. All you have to do is set up desktop on both the devices, connect your phone to the system via USB and there you go. I like the fact that you can move the cursor from the desktop to your phone. But here's the dope part. I can copy stuff from my Android and paste it directly on my PC. I can also drag links from the desktop to my phone. For example, this YouTube URL. Effortless. So the S10 Plus launched with 12 GB of RAM. Damn, I mean this Note 9 and this laptop have the same amount of RAM. So why not use this powerful phone to play some Steam games? Because there aren't any good mobile games. So here is an app called Parsec, which lets you stream games from your PC. All you have to do is download and set up the apps on both your PC and Android. Once you're done, the app streams the game to your phone. And now you can play and control it from here. I usually start playing Steam games on my system and then end it with my phone on my bed. You might already know about Android. It not only lets you send files between your phone and PC, but also provides call and message notifications. But did you know that when you press screenshot, it casts the phone's screen on your desktop, real time. This is a quick hack that most are unaware of. Check it out. Just for fun, I tried seeing what Mrinal is up to. Turns out he's having a good time in the Apple ecosystem. But if all you want is to reply to your SMSs from your PC, you can use Android Web Message. Just open the link, scan the barcode, there you go. You don't even need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. You might have heard of Unified Remote, which lets you use your smartphone screen as a trackpad and a keyboard for your laptop. But I have developed a different use case. The laptop at my home is kind of old with a buggy trackpad so I switched to Unified Remote to use the drag and drop gesture. Coming from a smartphone, this gesture definitely feels an intuitive switch. How cool would it be if you could use your phone as a speaker, an external mic or a camera? So we have these three different apps which let you do so. Soundwire is the first of them. I have an old laptop at my home which my parents use to watch those marriage videos like every summer. But since the laptop is old, the speaker doesn't work well. So I use this app to convert my Android into a Bluetooth speaker. Cool hack and now my parents think I'm some scientist or something. The next one is a cool app called IP Webcam, which lets you use your phone camera as a wireless webcam. All you have to do is install the IP Webcam app on your phone and the client app on your PC. Next, it involves some simple setups and once you're done with that, make sure you get Skype for Windows and not Skype for Windows 10. Now head over to Skype settings and switch your camera to MJPEG camera. 
I mean, you can switch from a 1 megapixel camera to a 16 megapixel one. Makes a huge difference. You will agree with me on this that your phone has a better mic than your laptop. After all, it's got noise cancellation. So Wo mic lets you use your phone as a microphone and record sound directly onto the laptop. At times, I use this setup to record voice directly to Audacity, do a little bit of noise cancellation and boom. Can you even recognize the fact that this is being recorded through my phone? And now what you're hearing is from a 27,000 mic. Thank me later. Okay, let's end it with some cool games. Air Console lets you play PC games using your smartphone as a gamepad. What I like the most is that you don't have to download any games on your desktop. And not just that, you don't even need to install the app on your phone. I instead visit the website, enter the code and BAM, I'm connected. But the only bargain here is, you can only play as many games as listed. But honestly, I'm not even complaining. Hey Kaushal, are you connected? Sorry guys, game time. This is me Pratik signing off. See you in the next one. By the way, if you like this video, you know what to do and we'll be coming up with more such videos. So make sure you're subscribed. See you in the next one.